How are you all doing? I hope you're safe and well and coping through this crazy time. It's lovely to be asked to contribute to the Viking virtual series. The Viking is a very special place to me because it's been the place of a lot of firsts as an audience member, a writer, a performer, a producer, and it's my local theatre. So when I started to put together some answers to the Q&A, um, I just realised I'm not going to have enough time to discuss them all here in a few minutes. So what I've decided to do is put together my top five Viking moments. So here we go. At number five, it's Port Authority by Conor McPherson, um, a play I really enjoyed acting in every single night. Um, but because it was a monologue play, there was three interlocking monologues. Um, you got to watch the other actors clicking into gear um, during their performance. And my number five moment at the Viking has to be the wonderful Dick Tobin absolutely nailing his part every single night. Uh, it was like he was born to play in Port Authority and every night he had the audience in the palm of his hand. It was a real joy to watch. At number four, it's Wacker Murphy's Bad Buzz. Uh, my first one-man play that was directed by Tom Hickey. Um, we had a great run at the Edinburgh Fringe and it was a real honour to be asked as a writer and performer to be the first uh, performer and writer um, to grace the Viking stage. Um, so Wacker Murphy's Bad Buzz opened the Viking Theatre. Um, it was very clear from that first night the wonderful work that Laura and Andy had started to do and as well the, the audience that was um, there ready to support them. Um, so that was really a special moment to be there at the birth of what has become um, an incredible arts institution on the north side of Dublin. At number three, it's the debut performance of our company, the Core Ensemble, and that was Made in China by Marco Rowe, uh, one of my all-time favourite plays, and I got to play Huey, which was just incredible. Um, I got to perform opposite Rex Ryan and Neil Fleming every night. We had an absolute blast. Um, the whole play culminated in a 12-minute fight scene, which we had a baseball bat, uh, an umbrella, and a prosthetic leg. So I don't know how we pulled that off in a small theatre above a pub, but uh, we did, and it was definitely up there in one of my all-time theatre moments. At number two, it was to see A Christmas Carol with my dad and my brother. Um, it was our Christmas night out, so we were spoiled to a fantastic production upstairs, um, a wonderful night out, and then we went down for a Christmas drink down in the bar downstairs. Now, I always say the Viking has one of the best points of Guinness in any theatre in the country, uh, but also has some of the best staff down in Connolly's. That particular night, we were served by a good friend of mine, the late Keen Markham, who sadly left us last year. But um, I know a lot of the audience members and performers will have very fond memories of being served by Keen and his lovely grace and manner behind the bar. Michigan. At number one, there was really no contest for this one. It was the gallant John Joe. Um, I was very lucky to help out the great Tom Hickey on the gallant John Joe. Um, Tom was diagnosed with Parkinson's a few years ago, but that didn't stop him. He was determined to tour the gallant John Joe nationwide to help get out the message to people suffering from the condition or their families that movement singing, dancing and being active was a great help to deal with the condition itself. So Tom, so brave, took on this performance. It was a very difficult technical play um, while he was suffering with Parkinson's. On one particular night, it was a Sunday night, we brought it to the Viking. It was sold out. There was a queue around the corner um, of people trying to get in to see Tom. And on that particular night, he just decided to let fly, let rip. And I can only describe the performance as spiritual. Uh, I'll never forget it, to see an actor of that calibre unleash that kind of performance, that close up in the Viking. Um, the roof of the Viking was blown, not just off, it was all the way down at Dolly Mount Strand and... Without a doubt, that's my number one moment at the Viking.